welcome to q automated if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for notifications hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about most important part of this tutorial series that is how to write api test cases in postman so let's see how we can write simple test with postman so first here if you see there is a simple log get request and th these are the parameters which are passing in our, our get request in the test section here you can write your test cases so the thing is uh, postman supports javascript but the thing is it's very intuitive you don't need to know completely javascript to write simple test in postman you can uh, type pm and it will be self intuitively guide you what functions to use now i want to add a test case so it will suggest you how to add a test i want to check the response uh, code response code status so it will intuitively tell you what to do next okay so uh, this is very simple and very in intuitive so i want to check response of this response should have status as 200 right so this is very simply i can add this and similarly you can also practice and add this you don't need to learn javascript completely before adding your test cases in postman no need of that sort of thing so here is a simple test where it is checking the status is 200 or not here is the message response message which you want to show when the test passed so you can specify here status is as expected okay and uh, this is another test where it is checking status it is checking it's okay if the response is json format or not let's run this and check what happens okay once you run the uh, api it will you can see the api response and in the test result section you will see the test past script field you can track it accordingly from here also the, we just executed two tests okay and test pass it has showing message same like i typed with the mistake <laughs> and yeah uh, so this is this now let us see some more examples okay uh, so here um, we are trying to you know fail this test and see how we are getting a response so pm dot response is one function where you can see get the response and apart from that pm expected is also a function which you can use to uh, share your response in a different format okay so now what is happening here we are expecting the response is 201 but we know we are getting 200 in return so both the cases it will fail but you need to focus on the response type how the response is uh, i mean response of a test case is shown uh, with what message and what format the response of the test cases is test result is shown here because pm response is different function and pm expect is a different functions which we are using here apart from that we are adding one more uh, test case here uh, that is we want to add our own custom message okay we, we are making it fail even if a response is okay we are making it false and uh, we are adding our own response why it's failing uh, this you can use it for debugging purpose better you can add your own responses when you fail and you can use it for your debugging of your test cases so let us run this one also how it looks when your test fails okay see you can see here it's failed failed section also all also you can check now see if we are using pm dot response it's showing expected response to have status code 201 but got 200 and with the pm dot expect it will show only expected and equal and in the custom message section it will show the custom message expected was false but it is to be truthy 
so this this is it uh, how you can add test cases which fails and how you can add your own custom message you can select which format you want when your test fails what format you wa want you can use either pm expect or you can use pm response now let's see some more types of tests uh, which we can write so what is performance test performance test is where we want to check the response time of a particular api to be in uh, our selected range so in this case i want response time to be less than 200 milliseconds so i have added this test and let's see yeah it fails why it failed because it is more than 200 milliseconds say expected was this expected to be this below 200 milliseconds but we got 2000 something so if you change this you are expected result to 3000 milliseconds and check here it will pass right so you can add this kind of test cases now let us see your data type what you can check in your request data type uh, the risk request header to be have content type if the content type is uh, missing in the header then it will fail then check if the response content type is json or not that you can check so let's execute this and run so i i will be sharing this uh, workspace for you to try out different types of tests which will be help you a lot when you are testing your own apis and you can use this uh, different test for your apis and try that out so look at your so content type is present and content type is json so let us uh, check from our end also if this is true content type is present and a response let us see response con uh, response content type is json right in header content time is present and response time of uh, your request is json both things are test now let's see functional test what we can add in our function test so uh, here we want to test that the response json returns a uh, uh, returns seven characters alphanumeric id for this particular field okay and then for this field second hash field it returns 15 character alphanumeric id okay from json form we need to verify these things are correct or not so we are matching it with the alphanumeric characters we specified here length to be 7 here we specified length to be 50. so in this way you can add your functional response uh, re functional uh, testing also if you want to match to exact value like it should return abc or it should return some exact value that part also we can add here let us see that uh, uh, example as well so here some hash value is this second hash value is this so this is 7 cache and this is 15 cache have alphanumeric and this is passing so both the tests are passing here functional test 2 here what it is testing it is testing uh, delete delete uh, api it's 200 okay and it is expecting that object response body should be an object uh, response should be a parsable json and response should be 200 after delete okay then next we will see json schema validation so in schema we have key value uh, right and we want to have some kind of validations on what values it is returning and those values are correct or not so we can add that particular things also uh, in our test cases we can also check security checks that SQ, with sql injection that it, it is it it is it any api is returning any password or not so this kind of simple uh, test also we can add we can also add a complex test where we are uh, 
वी आर राइटिंग अ वेरिएबल वी आर सेविंग अ वेरिएबल ओके एंड देन वी आर चेकिंग दैट द वेरिएबल्स आर मैचिंग एवरी टाइम वी आर गेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स वी आर गेटिंग द सेम रिस्पॉन्स आर नॉट दैट ऑल्सो वी कैन डू सो इन दिस केस सी दिस इज ए पी आई फॉर गेटिंग द करंट प्राइज ओके एंड बिटकॉइन रेट ओके लेट्स वॉट वी आर टेस्टिंग यू वी आर फर्स्ट क्रिएटिंग दिस ओके वी आर देन सेटिंग एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल विथ वैल्यू बिटकॉइन रेट ओके वंस वी हैव दैट देन वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर चेकिंग दिस की बिटकॉइन चार्ट नेम हैज़ अ वैल्यू बिटकॉइन सी इन द रिस्पॉन्स चार्ट नेम हैज़ अ वैल्यू बिटकॉइन येस इट इज करेक्ट सो द टेस्ट केस विथ पास then also we are uh, setting a local variable this is this to check this is just uh, a code to set uh, your local variable and check okay so you can check here local variable is set in your console also you can check how it is set and things like that okay it's showing some old logs but you can check here you can add logs here pm dot log and uh, that all you for debugging that also will help you see bitcoin scenario is done so okay these are some of the sample uh, test cases which you can write basically for api testing most important uh, scenarios you write is to check response code you need to parse the response body uh json if it is a json or is or not you check the key value what is expected of it that you can call as that functional part of the testing you want to check the schema is correct ex as expected you want to delete something and check if it is working fine or not update some changes and check we want to get the data and check the list list of data is retrieved you can create a list also in the uh in this section uh, in with the test you can create uh, your list also and check see here is a here are some test cases of fetching a list see we can create an array of list save that response to an array we can create new item and check here so there are multiple uh, test cases you can add your uh functional uh, performance test cases also we have seen we have seen different scenarios also we can add create flows also we can save environment variable we can save it in a collection variable we can save it in local variables also and we can write multiple scripts uh, like this so uh, do practice this on yourself uh, on uh, for yourself also and let me know if you have any doubts or any questions thank you